yo, 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 yo. Yeah. You sure we're recording? Yep. Does that look straight? Yeah. Ish. Sure enough. Hey, hey, how's it going? Ooh. Don't look at me like that. Anyway. I, I, didn't, I was looking at the table. This is another daily. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about basically how agents price your house, meaning the list price. Right, right. right. Okay. So like, you meet with your agent, or a potential agent. You're interviewing right. an agent to list your house. And obviously, you know, the main thing you want to know is how much will my house sell for? How right. much can you sell my house for? And they give you a price. They say 300,000, 500,000, 200,000, whatever they say. Um, how did they get there? How did they get there? Yeah. For some of us, there's science and data behind it. Which is the right way to do yeah. it. Yeah. For some of us, there's faults and feelings. Yeah. yeah. And Zillow. Yeah. Some people go right. on Zillow. Yeah. That estimate right. is total shit. Yes, I agree. It's a lie. Right. They don't know. Um, and so, uh, you know, myself, I primarily do listings. Right. Um, but so my process is I try to use mostly data when available. Right. Um, How far back do you I know? only go 180 days right now. Okay. 180 days. I think the market is um, it's a very fast market right now. Okay. Things are selling. So I don't go back a full year. Um, also, I find that I have less issues with appraisals. If I base my prices off 180 days worth of comps, rather than going back a full year. That makes, yeah, I okay. think things can change that fast, so I don't go back okay. that far anymore. And just, sorry, just to jump yeah. in, if you don't know anything about real estate, once your house goes under contract, right. the bank for the buyer's lender, or the, the lender for the buyer, will come in and do, an and, and do an appraisal to make sure that the house is actually worth how much they're paying that's for right. So that's, that's what um, so, so we start with there, right? So we're pulling mm -hmm. comps. So I use 180 days worth of comps. The next thing I focus on, obviously, are the attributes of the house, right? right. So like, if your house is a three bedroom, two full bath, I'm not gonna give you a price for your house from comps of five bedroom houses right. or four bedroom houses even. I'm gonna try and stick. Now sometimes this is harder than, than other times. I'm gonna try and stick to very similar houses. Right. You know, so you know, obviously if the house is more rural, that can be harder to do to figure it out, okay? And then the next thing, and we're you know, we're kind of summarizing here, but the biggest thing where I think people really get in trouble is sticking in tight knit neighborhoods. Yeah. So like Especially like if you're in the city, there's no reason to go a mile and a half away. <laughs> like go a few blocks. Right. Like block, city block by block. If you're in West Towson, price it in West Towson. Right. Like don't go. I mean, West Towson's amazing. You know, if you're not in West Towson, don't go don't into go West Towson and to even, look for comps. Yeah. Even when you're in neighborhoods that have different subdivisions. So yeah. Do that subdivision. Yeah. And then if there's not enough comps, right? If you have to go back 600 days, then maybe expand it a little bit. Try to get it within a totally. And like, I mean, the way Baltimore is, there's neighborhoods right next to neighborhoods. I mean, like, we can go to the county for a second. Like, if you're in Stonely or Annesley or Idlewild, stay in those neighborhoods. Right. Don't pull from different neighborhoods. Right. I mean, like, you're not fooling anybody. Yeah. And certainly, as a consumer, you shouldn't be fooled. Well, well, that's the issue. Yeah. So, as a listing agent, like in general, right, it's easy to fool the seller. Well, because it sounds they don't good, know. right? It's right. like a Your lot house... of times they choose the agent, sorry, the agent with the highest price. Right. But you can't always sell well, it. Like always that. ask when you're interviewing an agent, mm -hmm. ask them what comps are you using? Right. Like show me the houses and why does this relate to my house? Totally, yeah. Um, and I think a good agent will, they will give you transparent comps. Right. They will show you. Show you what yeah. they're using. Yeah. yeah, totally. Like I know when we go on listing presentations, that's what we bring. Right. Here's the address. Here's how many beds. Here's how many bathrooms. This is why it relates. Yeah. Like we're not making it up. My theory is give, give more than enough information. Give yeah. so much, I mean, usually our presentations are, they have so much information um, on the subject property and the comps that I think people kind of get overwhelmed by. There's like, this is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So many graphs and charts, but um, I think that's it in a nutshell. Yeah. So just be educated. Yeah. If you have a question, ask, like yeah. ask the agent you're interviewing, it's your money. So ask like, me. If your agent's offended that you're asking them questions, then, right. they're, then, then they suck. Call me. Way not to sell it. Call him. Thanks. See ya. Bye.